Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about automated test batch. So let's look at the example first. Automated test batch. When a test specimen is placed on the bench, a series of three tests should run sequentially, each lasting for 10 seconds. The time delay between two tests should be 5 seconds. So there will be a sensor that will detect the presence of a test specimen and then there will be test 1 for 10 seconds and after that it will wait for 5 seconds then there will be test 2 for 10 seconds and then there will be a delay of 5 seconds and then there will be test 3. So for this example we will use normally open contacts and with that we will be also using timers like TP and T on. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. So this is an interface of TI portal version 16. So firstly, I will go to PLC tags and default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So firstly, we have one input that is a sensor which detects the presence of the test specimen and then there will be machinery for test one. So this is an output. So this will be Q0.0. .0. And then we have the machinery for test 2 and test 3. After that, we'll go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will draw the ladder diagram. So firstly, when the sensor gets activated, when the sensor gets activated, test 1 will be done. So this test 1 will be for 10 seconds. So there will be a timer operation, TP here, and the preset value for this will be 10 seconds. And then I will open the branch here, add a coil, and then there will be test 2. Test 2. So this test 2 will be after test 1 and with a delay of 5 seconds. So there will be a total time delay of 15 seconds. So the preset value for T on will be 15 seconds and this test 2 will happen for 10 seconds. So this the preset value for the test 2 will be 10 seconds. And then again I will open the branch, add a coil and this coil will represent test 3 and this test 3 will be after test 2. So there will be 15 plus 10 is 25 and plus 5 that is the delay. That is there should be a delay of 5 seconds between two consecutive tests. So there will be it will wait again for 5 seconds and then the test 3 will happen. So there will be 15 plus 10 is 25. So there will be 30 seconds. So we'll use T on and there will be a delay of 30 seconds and then there will be a TP here that will send the pulse for 10 seconds only. So when sensor gets activated, we can put here the start button I0.1 and the tag will be start. We can go to PLC tags here, default tag table. So we can put here start button. So this will be I0.2. So now when start button is pressed and there is a test specimen placed over there. Then the test one will happen for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds it will wait again for 15 seconds. So it will wait for 15 seconds and test two will happen for 10 seconds. And then again it will wait for 5 seconds more and then the test three will happen. So we'll start the simulation here.
click on load and then finish. After that, I will start the CPU and then start monitoring. After that, I will switch to project view where we need to create a new project. Let's create a new project. Click on create. Go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. So here I will right click, load project tags and then when I turn on the start button, nothing happens. But when sensor gets activated, test 1, the machinery for test 1 activates and it does a test for 10 seconds and after that the test 1 will stop and then there will be a delay of 5 seconds. And after 5 seconds, test 2 will happen. The machinery for test 2 will operate. And it will operate for 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, the machinery will stop working. And again, it will wait for 5 seconds more. And after 5 seconds, test 3 starts. The machinery for test 3 starts. And after that, it will also stop. So after 10 seconds, test 3, the machinery for test 3 also stopped. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.